welcome back to my channel. Happy Saturday. We are all together in the car. We're heading out on a little adventure as a family. And I thought this was the perfect time to start our next vlog, which is going to be a stroller comparison video. When we found out we were pregnant with the twins, our biggest decision was what stroller to get, wasn't it? That's right, yeah. We honestly stressed about it so much because as twin parents, you need to have a stroller, obviously, that can cater to two babies. And that really leaves you with two options. You can either go a side-by-side -side stroller so that both of your babies are sitting, as described, side-by-side -side and you can see them, or you can go the other option, which is? Uh, in line. In line. Yeah. And that is? One on top of the other. One on the top and one on the bottom. Um, sometimes they're quite compact. Other times those strollers can be quite long. So anyway, we started investigating and we made some decisions and we really want to make this video to show you exactly what it's like with twins using both a side by side and an inline because spoiler alert, we have both for this vlog so we can actually compare the two, give you our honest feedback. So if you are a twin parent, a twin parent to be, or you just have two little ones that are close in age and you're wanting to get a stroller that caters to both of them, this is the video for you. Just parked up. It is a freezing cold day here. Cha, you're gonna have to look after the car. You look after the car, okay? We're gonna pop in and have brunch. Here she is. What is amazing about the inline stroller is how fast and easy it is to assemble it and get it up and running. Literally like that. Oh my goodness. And you can just whack on the nappy bag. Lots of space for that. This is what's so good about the inline is just how compact it is. Streamlined, like so small. This is why we love this stroller, because when we're going out for brunch and that kind of thing, it is so nice having a stroller that we can actually get in through a door, a single door, because not every place is very wide and doesn't have a lot of space for a stroller to go through. The other thing we love about the inline is because it's so compact, people don't even realize that you have a second baby down there. That's right, yeah. Because when you got the side by side, uh, people are like, oh my god, twins! Yeah, when here you, have... you can be a bit more incognito. Incognito. You can get away with it. And you can just like get around really easy. You can go shopping with the stroller super easy. You can like take it to the mall, you can take it into restaurants, you can take it into cafes. The inline is, sorry, the, the side by side, as you'll see, that's a real con being so wide. Actually, going to a cafe we haven't been to before. And I never get nervous going to these cafes with our stroller, worrying about whether or not we'll be able to fit or maneuver around. So it'll be really interesting to see, put this to the test and see if we can get in the door, fit around the tables <laughs> and get the babies inside. stroller would actually fit in our boot, would it? No. To a crazy house. We've got Charlie and we've got Revy. I plan to film this section of the video without the babies around. Why are you not sleeping? So spoiler alert, she's not sleeping. And if you hear Miss Revy in the background because she's very chitty chatty, she's just saying hi to you. I've pulled out all of the components of the olive stroller because I want to give a little tour of the olive, show you all of our favorite features. The olive comes like this. This here is the frame and I cannot stress to you just how streamlined and small the stroller is for a double. There have been plenty of times where I have just taken one baby. I've just put one baby on top and then underneath you have 
so much storage. This is the baby's nappy bag that I've been using. And you can see when you just have the one baby, that means you've got so much storage. You can adjust the handlebar so you can have it down like this, at this height or higher, just depending on what works. We've got some stroller straps on here because we attach a little pram caddy, the Edwards & Co pram caddy, which is really handy to have. On this side here, just an arm strap. So when you're pushing the stroller around, you can just be strapped. Have this strap around your wrist and that just is an added safety measure. The way that this stroller collapses down is you pull on these side little levers here. There's two, there's one on either side and you just pull them back, folds down. So small. To assemble the stroller, you just pull this little lever out and it literally just... So that's how the frame of the olive works. And then you have your different options of seating options. Because we have twins, our babies sit in the same seats or we could interchange them. But if you do have a younger or an older child, then your seating arrangements and configurations might be different. Seating option number one is the capsule. This is like a baby car seat, but in New Zealand we call them capsules. And this actually clicks into the car, which is so handy because we can just take them out of the car, clip them into the stroller, both babies can fit. So if you just want to pop in somewhere really quickly and you don't want to take them out of their car seat or their capsule, you don't have to, which is amazing. And this is what we took with us to the cafe that day. They're just really, really handy and super convenient. I call them a bucket seat. This is our sun cover. There is a newborn insert, which we've just taken out for now, but this is what it looks like. And this is amazing because it can actually also lie flat. So this works as a bassinet sort of thing when the babies are actually out of their bassinets. And you've got two of these that both fit on the olive as well. The final seating option is the Edwards & Co bassinet. I understand that the bassinet for the olive isn't as long as the other bassinets, but it's perfect for our babies. It is super cozy and it also has, I know it's so exciting, it also has this sun hood too, which you can pop up. And at the back of the sun hood is this little mesh panel, which allows you to kind of look in from different angles to see how the babies are getting on. For us, because our babies are now four months old, the two seating options that we use all the time are the capsules and also the bassinets. So the baby on the top is looking at you and then the baby on the bottom is looking out at what's going on around them. I mentioned in the intro that some inline strollers can be really long, which can be really problematic when you're trying to turn because you need more space to turn because there's a longer stroller that's doing the turn. This one is literally so compact. It is not super long at all, which means that it's just really easy to navigate around really, really tight spaces. To take off the capsules or any, then you just click into those two things and then it just pulls off really easily. We now have a second baby awake. If you can hear Rue in the background, he's up now. There we go, that's the two bassinets. Once this bassinet's in, you can then move this one up. There we go. And so you can add the sunshade if you like, which is still super ventilated, but just means that the baby is nice and shaded if they're having a sleep. So this is what it looks like with the two bassinet attachments on, if you wanna have both babies in one. This mesh panel makes it super easy just to check on the second baby and see what's going on down there, if everything's all good. And it's just a faster way to get to the baby because otherwise you do have to come down here and then sort of squat and then you can reach in and like help them if they've lost their passy or dummy, whatever you call it. And with the bassinet attachment, there is still space in the undercarriage to fit things. Less space, but we can still fit our nappy bag like smush down there. If you do get that pram caddy that straps on here, that also is really handy because then, because that means you can have your essentials just in front of you ready to go whenever you need them. In your stroller caddy, you can literally pack in all of the essentials, which is why you don't need a ton of storage space down below. You can fit in your wipes. I have my wipes in a reusable container just to keep them nice and, it nice and sealed so that they stay wet. You can fit in your nappies. You can also fit in a changing mat. This is just a foldable changing mat. 
You also have space then to put your keys, your wallet, your phone, your sunglasses, and you've literally just got an easy access here. We also have the Edwards & Co coffee cup holder, which gets so much use. I highly recommend it. It just clips on and then you have your coffee on the side. The last configuration is the bucket seat configuration and they are slightly different if you're using two bucket seats at the same time. You see the design of them is slightly different. This one is designed to go at the bottom and then this one is designed to go on the top. Yesterday you came to brunch with Dave, me and the twins and hung out with us and saw the Edwards & Co inline stroller. Today we are going to go for a walk <laughs> We're going to go for a walk outside. <laughs> Do you see how his head turns? That is so cute. Yes, Charlie, we're gonna go soon. The babies right now are down for a nap. I'm just waiting for them to wake up. It's literally gonna happen any minute. And when they wake up, I am going to be ready. Charlie's ready, I'm ready, Dave's ready. It is a freezing cold day here, so we are bundling up. Today, we're gonna go for a walk in the other stroller, this is the side-by-side -side stroller. This stroller is the Bugaboo Donkey 3. This stroller comes highly recommended for those with twins or those who have two small children. It's really actually a choice of choosing between the Bugaboo Donkey 3. Bugaboo Donkey is the most sturdiest out of those two when you feel them, super sturdy. That means that it comes with quite a lot of weight. It's actually quite a heavy stroller to be carting around, especially compared to the Edwards & Co. Edwards & Co frame for the olive stroller, which is their inline stroller, the one that goes, that's stacked with the babies one on top of each other. Oh my goodness, it is so lightweight, it is crazy. I was lifting that stroller out of the car so soon on after my cesarean. Obviously once I'd had the all clear from my doctor that I could be lifting the stroller out of the car and I was able to drive, all that kind of stuff. So, you know, not for a while, but once that time came, I was so surprised how easy it was for me to assemble the stroller by myself while recovering from that kind of major surgery. The bugaboo, I would not be able to do that for quite some time. It's still really heavy. Let's go and see the bugaboo donkey because uh, she's a big pram. The bugaboo lives in the garage. It lives in the garage and it never gets disassembled because it's really big. At the moment, we have got the bassinets on the bugaboo. So this is the bassinet attachment, the side by side, and it's marketed to be a pram that can fit through a standard front door. As you'll see, it actually cannot fit through our door. So spoiler alert, we have to go out the garage when we use this frame because there's just no way it would fit. It does have a really good undercarriage that holds um, things, so there's good storage, but it's just so big and so wide that we can't go anywhere. The cafe we went to yesterday, there is absolutely no way we would have been able to, number one, fit through the door at the cafe, and number two, had anywhere to kind of like park it up without taking up so much space. So that's a massive, massive con of having the side-by-side -side stroller. What I like about the side-by-side -side stroller, and other people would agree I'm sure, is that you can always see your babies, and when they're with the bassinet attachment, they're facing you, but when you have it assembled and you're out walking, everybody knows you have twins. And the amount of comments you get from people asking if you can stop, if they can see the babies, how old are the babies, what, you know, are the twins, are they a boy and a girl, are they two girls, are they two boys, are they identical, are they not identical? Oh my goodness, the questions don't stop. Which is really nice that people are interested, but, you know, you literally are stopping and talking to so many people all the time, like, I'm not kidding, it's crazy. Whereas when you're pushing the olive stroller, no one knows that you have a second baby in there. Yesterday when we were at the cafe and we actually took the capsule attachments off the olive and we put them on the table just because both the babies were awake and we wanted to hang out with them and we wanted them to be able to look around and see what was going on. The cafe owner, the cafe worker, was came, came over to our table and said, I did not realize there was a second baby there. That happens all the time, which is really funny and so nice. Weirdly, because 
you don't get caught having to have the same conversation with people and you also don't have people just looking and wanting to see the babies which is kind of a weird concept now and like the pandemic like the pandemic is still happening where we live and I still feel like a bit strange about strangers kind of like getting up close to the babies it's nice to have a bit of distance but when they see the double stroller coming along no they want to have a look they want to sit they want to say hi which again is nice but hey if I can avoid it I'm all for it here you can see just how sturdy it is hey Charles it's huge you literally take up the footpath when you're walking with this I've just put inside it right now two wheat bags just to warm it up a little bit so that we can get it nice and toasty for the babies and there's good sort of handlebars here you can like swivel them around put things on them for the babies to play with and look at but I mean there is zero chance that you would be able to take this traveling like this would just be so big so impossible to travel with this is like if you're looking for like a really sturdy pram that you can walk with if you live somewhere where there are massive sidewalks massive doorways and entrance ways your front entrance way to your house is huge you've got a huge boot and storage in your car then maybe this is the one for you it's also so sturdy that our rocket which rocks the pram so you just press this and the rocket is like shaking if you can see it shakes the pram like just a little bit just kind of rocks it so that you don't have to do that but when you put this on the pram and you turn it on it's so sturdy that it really it, this really can't do its job because this is just too heavy it's a brand new day the last time i was filming unfortunately we got rained out we couldn't go for a, a walk with the twins today is a fresh day you can hear the babies crying in the background there with dave we have our dog charlie and my parents dog jamie here with us they're not going to come with us because it's going to be too hectic having two dogs two babies and all that but i'm going to head out there and show you the babies are in the pram now all ready to go the dogs are staying behind let's illustrate the pram the issue we have with this pram right yeah uh. <laughs> okay. Have a so nice walk. <laughs> See you later. We'll just stay here. I don't know why I find that so funny. When we got the ram, okay, we'll go out the actual way we go. We, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get myself together. When we first got this pram, we were so excited. So we like. It just fits. Look at this through our hallway as well, by the way. Like, look at that. Yeah. Just fits. But we went to the front door to take it out. We didn't have any babies yet to test it. Does not fit. But it does fit through this door. Just. You have to really push it. Okay. Our house isn't like small. We have like a standard house, right? Yeah. Yep. Okay. So this is how we get out of our house to go for a walk with this pram. <laughs> Right out the front door. <laughs> so every time we use this pram, that's literally how we have to get out of our house. It just does not fit through our front door. So imagine if it doesn't fit for our, through our front door, I'm not gonna trust it going out and about with this pram because one of the things with two babies is like, you don't wanna, you're already making a scene because there's two babies, you know, and if they're both crying. And the thing about our other pram, the pram that we use all the time, the Edwards & Co Olive, the double, is that it really gives me the confidence by myself to go out by myself with the twins and I don't have to worry about not fitting in places through like doors and that kind of thing or maneuvering around cafes. Whereas if I had this pram, the side by side, I genuinely would feel really worried about that whenever I go out. So the olive has made my life so much easier. This is the side by side out though, out and about. It takes up pretty much the whole footpath, hey? Yep. Yep. So when you are like walking two of you, one of you has to walk on the grass, which isn't like a big deal, but when it's wet like this, it's kind of a pain, hey? Yeah. Not, yeah. Not. As I said in my like tour of it, really good undercarriage though for storage. It has really good canopy as well that folds right over. <laughs> we have all the paraphernalia attached to it, hey? Oh yeah. Gotta keep them entertained. 
But what we thought we would do with our stroller is head out to a cafe, go get a coffee. This is a cafe that we have scoped out that we know that we can fit. Because again, like, just helps with that confidence when you are like a, a new mum, a first time mum, going out by yourself takes a little bit of like confidence to build up for some of us. Some people are fine, other people like me, you just do it in stages. We had someone come up to us and ask if they were twins, a boy and a girl. The usual. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Which is totally fine. Like, I don't want to make it sound like that's an inconvenience for us. It's we love to talk about our babies to yeah. strangers. And it's a pro of this <laughs> pram if that's what you're into. You're proud, proud to be a twin parent and you want to show them off, then this is definitely the way to go. What Dave means by that is this pram does draw attention that you do have two babies. So there's no way to hide that There's you have no to. There's no way to hide, yeah. But that's a good thing, like if you want, if you would like that attention, then you'll, this pram will do that for you. <laughs> At the cafe, Dave and I were talking pros and cons about this particular stroller, the side-by-side, -side, and you had some really good thoughts. Yeah, so the pros are that they are right there so that you can keep an eye on the both of them at all times. Easy and access. You, and you can get to them quickly if you need to, um, which is a real pro. Um, Especially as you've seen on this walk because both of them have been crying at different times. Yeah, uh, another pro is that it's really well made, so it's really high quality. Um, but in terms of cons, I would definitely say cost. It's a very expensive pram. Yeah. Um, it's very wide as we've discussed, it can make maneuverability really difficult. Um, if you are investing in a, a rocket, which is a, a little, seen it. Yeah, a little device them. that shakes, it's not going to shake. This I pram. took it off the, this pram because I've been to that cafe before with the rocket, and it doesn't fit through the door with the rocket attached. I've taken yeah, the rocket off. Makes it even wider, but also the rocket I've smashed can't, it on the ground. It can't shake this pram because yeah. it's um, it's just too stable. It's too stable. Yeah, um, it is not the quickest to pack up if you want to take mm, it. In the it's car, quite heavy, and it is heavy. Yeah, which is kind of a problem for me because Dave's a lot stronger than I am, so. I definitely would find it trickier. I actually haven't tried to, I, I haven't even tried because I watched Dave and I was like, oh, that looks tough. I'm sure I could do it, but again, it's like that confidence thing when you're out and about and it's just you and you have two screaming babies, <laughs> then you have a heavy pram that's like clunky and everything. It's a lot. It adds to the stress. Yeah. So ultimately, if you were picking one stroller out of the Bugaboo Donkey side by side or the Olive, I say go olive. <laughs> For me it would be the olive too. Go olive. Now definitely there are times when a side-by-side -side stroller can be super convenient. It might be that you're traveling and that you want to have like, there might be a lighter weight option. It's just worth reviewing these particular models. So this isn't true for every single side-by-side -side stroller. What we're talking about and saying is just about those two models that we have compared to like directly. Yeah, that's the only experience we have. The Olive versus the Bugaboo Donkey. Yeah. So yeah, we a thousand percent recommend the Olive. Just super easy to get around. You're really affordable with all of the accessories and everything. And yeah, we are excited for the twins to kind of grow into it as well as they get older. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. The support means the world to me. And if you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe because I upload new videos every single week. We'll see you guys in the next one. See ya. Bye.